Yes, because we want to take a look at a headline from foxnews.com. A drone in London's Gatwick Airport just held people hostage. Soon we will be next. The author of that headline joins us now. Brett Velikovich is author of Drone Warrior. So, Brett, are we going to see drone attacks here? Well, good morning, David. And look, as, as you guys mentioned, I mean, reports just within the last few hours indicate that these aviation officials have no idea whether or not a drone was even present. And the fact is that speaks to the seriousness of this issue and, and for airport authorities to be better prepared, because had there been proper countermeasures put in place at this airport, they would have been able to definitively answer whether or not there was a drone there in the first place and determine where it was located and whether or not it was a serious threat. What but kind the of, fact before you this, go further, let me just ask, what kind of countermeasures sure. can be implemented? Absolutely. Well, let's let's talk about that. Look, this technology to actually counter drones is, is not new. There's this whole ecosystem in Silicon Valley that's been built to try and defeat these solutions. And currently, most people might not even realize there's actually over 200 counter drone technology solutions on record as being available to use for this stuff. We've got things that are being worked on, primarily focused on detecting, identifying, and defeating that. And so one of the systems that's in place is called Aeroscope. It's actually created created by one of the largest manufacturers in the world, DJI, and what it does is it has the ability to geolocate a drone um, that is flying in the air or it has even been turned on. And right now that actually even exists in D.C. If somebody even turns a drone on in Washington, D.C., there's a good chance that law enforcement authorities know where that is because of this system. And that system needs to be more widespread. It needs to be used at airports all around the world. But that's not enough to defeat the threat. That just lets you know that there's a drone in the air. What we also have are systems that can physically jam the signals from those drones. So what the, they can do is, you know, you've got systems that are in the form of guns, you've got systems that are in the forms of of other types that will block the signal between the drone and the operator and make that drone think it needs to return home or actually knock it out of the sky. Brett, Finally, why, there's why, even, why didn't the Brits have access to this stuff if it's as available as you say? Well, David, that's, that's the problem. They do, but they chose to whistle past this threat, and that's, that's the issue. And think about the economic loss just alone from shutting an airport down for 72 hours. Millions of dollars were lost, and it doesn't even cost anywhere near that to put these systems in place. So I know for a fact that that airport was told about those systems, but they chose not to use them. And you can't look. The, the truth is there's no one size fits all solution right now for this. And that's why you have to layer it. You have to layer it with systems that can detect. You have to layer it with systems that can block yeah. it. There's even now systems that can spoof the drone that can take over the controls wow. and, and, and send it to a new location. And this technology is, is becoming more known. But at, at this point, it's just not as widespread as it needs to be. And that on top of that, we've got to talk to some of these manufacturers. The FAA really needs to wake up and realize this is a bigger problem. Yeah. They've been talking about what's called remote identification now for a few years, where every single drone that flies has a system in it that's built into it with the manufacturer basically allowing officials to be able to determine who owns that drone, the serial number, the trajectory, and it's time that the FAA started well, this putting is, this remote this is identification great news. to use. Brett, this is terrific news. I, I wasn't aware that the technology had advanced to that extent, but... Uh, Clearly, the Brits got to get up to date uh, because they Absolutely. certainly weren't prepared for this. Brett, thank you very much. The book is Drone Warrior. We appreciate you coming on, Brett.